Bristol is the latest city to fall victim to catalytic, catalytic converter thefts. There were several stolen just last night, and police are trying to find the culprits. General 3's Dylan Fearon has the details and tips to keep your converter safe. Yeah, it's sad. I mean, people don't have morals. Claire Lassard has called Bristol home for 41 years. She lives on Carroll Drive, the latest street catalytic converter thieves have hit in the city. Several were stolen in Bristol overnight in multiple neighborhoods. I'm not surprised. Some weird stuff's going on around here. Police are investigating. Claire and her husband checked under their cars. Converters are still there, but they were worried when they woke up this morning. We have two Kias, and I understand they were after Kias as well. Claire's talking about converter thieves in general. Multiple insurance agencies list Kia SUVs among the most targeted cars for catalytic converter thefts. Thieves steal the converters and try to sell them. They contain platinum, palladium, and rhodium, expensive metals. They don't care if you have cameras or not. They're, they're here. Police also want you to consider anti-theft devices for your catalytic converter, including a steel plate that will protect the underside of your car and a cage made from steel cables that will discourage thieves because it will take them longer to steal that catalytic converter. Those devices aren't cheap, but they certainly cost less than the price of replacing a stolen catalytic converter. That could cost anywhere between $1,500 and $3,000 to replace. We're in Bristol. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3. Three Eyewitness News.